Hello, folks, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft Resonant Rise. I'm your host, Karen Dave, creator of the Resonant Rise mod pack, co-maintainer, and guy de be decked in this freakish red armor. I mean, now this is just, this is some scary stuff right here, right? But uh, we made it, and it's pretty awesome, uh, I think, anyways. So, when last we left off, I had made this tree farm, and I promised to do a little bit of stuff off camera with it. Specifically, I promised, whoa, come on, door, there we go. Specifically, I promised to just set up some basic uh, some basic storage. As you can see, it's been running for quite some time. It's made a ton of stuff. Right now, I have it set to do full spruce. So I can just sort of max out spruce saplings and spruce wood, which I, by the way, just love the look of. Um, didn't do too much rubber with it. And uh, for people who say, oh, I don't like it because it, it has durability, all that stuff, and we're not even to 60% durability. Look at that. That's a lot of stuff. This has been running for like a week, nonstop. Like since I last made it five days ago, it's been running nonstop. It um, gives plenty of time for the system to kind of like grow up and, and run. Oh, and by wearing my blood armor, I make things here grow faster. So I actually need to be careful because this tree farm could be a dangerous means of killing me. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see, we've definitely got a functional tree farm here. And as I stride through it, my magic resplendent about me it creates a pretty amazing setup and uh i settled on about 50k although uh, i don't know if that'll be enough for all of these things as you can see uh he goes through he starts his work and it's awesome we've seen it though so let's get back to what we were doing today which specifically is getting ready to kill the ender dragon uh Sace will be joining me in a little bit to kill the first ender dragon and then we're going to reset the end for the whole server to join up um which because we're all in different time zones will take a little bit longer but uh, as i recall we want a temple caller Mm, we'll have to find it in a little bit. I'm sure it's around. But uh, we'll, we'll have a way to reset the end, no problem. Um, there's a natural way to do that in, in Hardcore Ender Expansion. Uh, in the meantime, though, I did want to try making a weapon. Uh, this will be our ranged weapon, the Energy Blaster, which is enchanted for no reason. It doesn't respect it. But uh, I thought it would be fun to use. And I was working on a little project, which is, well, what, me what melee weapon should I use to kill the Ender Dragon? I have the Blood Sword. The Blood Sword's cool. But I feel like pulling out something special, like really pulling out all the stops. So I've added an extra little thing here so we can get started with a little bit of a project. Specifically, what I'd like to do is uh, try out a mod I've only had a little bit of creative mode experience with, the uh, this, uh, was it, Redstone Arsenal? As you can see here, yeah, tons of cool stuff in here. Tools, these all these tools are like electromechanical or flux based, and they do all sorts of cool things on their own. A lot of people think they're really difficult, but um, in actuality, they only require really early nether access to make. So I don't think they're bad at all. Now I could go in there with a battle wrench, that sounds cool, but I think I wanna go in there with a flux infused sword. Uh, so this thing has some pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look what it takes to make it. What the heck is this stuff? Right? We need an obsidian rod, which is flux crystals, which is, well, it looks like we, we infuse diamonds into redstone. Uh, pretty expensive stuff, but let's go ahead and grab some diamonds. We need at least uh, two of them, I think. You know, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just make the, what we need. And so I've already prepped up a system here. Got plenty of redstone, so let's toss this in. And it should go reasonably fast. Now, while that's going, we're also going to need um, for our flux sword. our flux infused sword, sorry, is this flux elect electrum ingot. Now this stuff is made by um, roasting with some pyrothium some of this fluxed electrum blend, which is actually really easy to make. You just infuse electrum blend. I taught AE how to make electrum blend. It's not a complicated recipe. Uh, I already made some uh, off camera. So now we have two, because that's how much you make at a time. Uh, looks like our crystals are done. Those are pretty cool looking actually, right? Let's go ahead and flux that in. And I have plenty of pyrothium dust. I'm actually gonna set it up to be semi-renewable, um, but I only need two for now. It's it's actually really handy stuff in a lot of different ways. It's a really good fuel. Uh, we'll go ahead and toss this in here in preparation for this getting done. There we go, that goes really fast. Now, um, if you need pyrothium, you think that needs blaze powder. Uh, and a lot of people say, oh, then it needs you know you to run around the nether doing a bunch of work. But it turns out that um, actually, well, you can force grind it for a lot more. Uh, you can also pulverize it. You can macerate it. Um, ma uh, maceration being slightly better. Or you can infuse glowstone with destabilized redstone, which seems to me like a pretty good call. So that's probably what you'd want to do. Um, that, that, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, the sag mill will also process it and do a bunch of great stuff. Without further ado, let's go ahead and cook this stuff up. Uh, it'll take, take quite a bit of energy. Uh, Sace is now waiting. 
we got one, we got two, and they get sent off into our AE system. So if we look up Electrum, there we go, Fluxed Electrum. And now all we need is Obsidian Rods. Um, I think that these Obsidian Sticks would do, but uh, let's just go ahead and see. Uh, they don't, okay. Well then, what does it take to, to make an Obsidian Rod? Looks like what we need, uh, obsidian rod. Oh wow, is obsidian dust, huh? Well, that's exciting. Fortunately, I have some. Um, let's go ahead and pull that out, and uh, let's grab our crystals, toss those in there, and this makes the handle. And then all we have to do is just make a sword in classical Minecraft style. Ta da! Flux infused sword. Um, I think I actually have to charge this. Um, and I also want to make a capacitor for it really quick. So one moment off camera while I put down a redstone infuser and I'm gonna make a, um, I'm gonna make a resonant flux capacitor, which as you see needs enderium. So it'll take me just a minute to put that together uh, and I have to walk through all the tiers. But as you can see, I'm gonna go leadstone and then hardened and then up to redstone flux and then all the way up to the top. So it won't take too long. Uh, in fact, I may just stop there because this is a lot of redstone, a lot of capacity right there. We'll see. One sec. All right, folks. So I have my redstone capacitor, our redstone flux capacitor done, as you can see. Got quite a bit of charge on it and we'll just go ahead and activate it. Boo! So now it's charging up stuff in my inventory. Super cool. It'll recharge this. Super cool. One of the other cool things about this thing uh, this uh, sword here is that it's a chargeable item that naturally takes enchants, no fooling needed. So let's go ahead and take a uh, take a lucky shot here. Why not, right? Probably end up with Bane of Arthropods five. Oh wow, sharpness four, unbreaking three, knockback two. Holy smokes, we have an Excalibur here. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's just where's my where's my anvil? Do I have enough? I can't probably can't rename it, can I? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't. That's, that's lame. Yeah, enchantment cost 27. Probably should have named it beforehand, but you know, you just don't know how good it's going to be. All right, so with that, um, the other cool thing about this is that if I hit V, it charges up. Now, when it charges up, it does flux damage, and the sharpness on breaking a knockback actually help the flux damage. Um, and then when I hit V again, it turns off. So, it's a pretty good sword naturally with a plus eight attack damage plus one flux which ignores armor but when i turn this sucker on when i over, over basically overclock it and it starts burning 320 rf per use then it's totally a monster so that should be really fun to use between that and my energy blaster i should definitely be all set so i'm going to head over to our location i have some uh Zion's reliquary elixirs of strength bounding and healing um, along with a couple other items and I will get out all the things I need and be ready to go and take on the uh, baby ender dragon. So folks let me gather my provisions and meet Sace at the target site. All right, folks, we're here at the site, which I guess Sace has been working on because we have this really awesome portal here. Check this thing out. Scary. Uh, hey, Sace. Hey, Dave. Are you ready to go take on the ender dragon? Uh, about as ready as I'm going to be. Check it out. I brought this cool sword. Vrrr, vrrr, vrrr. <laughs> rear, rear. It's, it, it feels like I have to pull a ripcord. Oh, whoa, this is so cool. This wasn't here last time. Is this a back door right into the site? Oh, yeah, yes, I just is. made a I just made a staircase so that you can get in and out without having to go through the thing. And I put a blo I blocked out the entrance just to make sure stuff wouldn't come through. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, this taint has actually encroached further since the last time I was here. That's nuts. We're going to have to uh, wall it off or something because it's just going to march right over everything. Yeah, uh, probably make a couple of ethereal balloons and drop them down. Yeah. All right, so you ready for this? Uh, probably, like I said, it's not as ready as I'm going to be. It looks like we're going to have to jump. All righty then. All right, this is where this is where the, the magic happens. <laughs> so let's uh, let's plan not to die. Uh, all right, potions, I think, I think potions on. Idea. So he's around here somewhere. We got we got to finish off the job of getting these um, beacons fixed. Uh, and remember, they explode pretty firmly. So, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, when I was watching your video, I think I saw, I think I saw you uh, get blown up by them. I don't know if there are any more. Yeah, he looks like he's after you right now. Okay. Cue the scary music. Where is he? Where is he? Whoa. This 
guy. I, oh, he's up. Okay, oh, there, there's, there, some there's still over one there. over there. Yeah. Got it. Oh boy. Oh. I do like the fact that he has like a shotgun blast. The knockback that I'm experiencing is intense because of. Uh... I do like the fact that these pillars explode now when you hit the beacons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got that. All right, we got, got is that all of them? I think that's it. I think I think we're I think we're relatively good to go. All right, let's get them. What are you using? You're using a bow? Yeah, I'm using a bow with uh, punch. Whoa! Uh, that was nearly the end for me. I, I have punch, power, flame, uh, unbreaking, and... Uh, oh, there's another, there's another beacon over there. Oh, I see that, yeah. There's two over here. I like how that the the, fat, the short fat ones actually do this thing where they uh, where they uh, uh oh I pissed off some Enderman. Whoa! You got it. I like how the uh, the the fat the fat ones uh, get away from the Ender guys. Um, I like how the fat ones when they explode they actually throw like TNT everywhere. Or like yeah. explosives everywhere. Man, this 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 knockback I get from this armor is brutal. I'm I'm getting some serious knockback too, actually. Has to do with the uh, hey sigil. Whoa, where are you? This is actually pretty challenging, even for the baby under dragon, just because he moves folks so fast. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> he, he he knocked uh, he knocked one of the pillars down. That's uh, that was a nice effect, actually. Oh come on! Glad I have some six, uh, oh, six and a half million LP, uh, LP on tap. This is really hard to hit with. He's so fast. He is. He is. He's definitely. I, I will say, just it looks like they've definitely improved his AI. Yeah, yeah. Because like in vanilla, he just kind of like ignores you, kind of. Yeah, he's 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 definitely. We're having trouble. We're having trouble doing him, and like we're pretty strong. Man, he's basically we're gonna have to wait for him to charge us, and then. Ooh. Come at me. Oh wow, he's. I do. I, I do love how he like knocks the pillars around. Yeah. That's like Whoa. a really nice effect. I'm having trouble tagging him. Well, we got him down to the end in his game. It's not too bad. Just kind of, you kind of have to lead him. I'm trying to. It's just not uh, working for me. This, this, this. Whoa! 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 No! No! Not yet. Like even I'm, not even, I'm not even using the sigil really, the sigil of the Phantom Bridge really for flight purposes. I just have it on in case he knocks me off the edge of the island. Yeah, if I can hit him, if, I can, if, if he comes close to me, then I can hit him and he'll see he do a lot of damage with this thing. This is why I made sure my bow had infinity on it before I came. Come on. I said. I was like right in his face. <laughs> he was coming right towards me and then he changed his mind. Whoa, ow! He's hitting me with him? lightning. He's hitting me with That's lightning. That's awesome. Ow, ow. Okay, well, you know what? Yeah, I'm your tank. I'll tell you what, I'm the, definitely the tank. Aggro me. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's right, guys. I'm the tank. Should have brought some hand grenades. Cool. <laughs> I am immortal. I have inside me blood of kings. It's hilarious. It's like uh, I've been watching my hearts through this, and some of the things he's hitting me with is like taking out my entire uh, 
Tycho extra health bar. Ow. Which means he'd be one-shotting me if I was if I didn't have them. All right, there we go. This is the opportunity. Ah! I am immortal. You can't hurt me. <laughs> I have, actually. That, yeah, I gotta tell you, I've been close to death twice now just because of the. Um... Come on. Ah! Uh -huh. Seriously, dude. Eight hit points, and now he's gonna run. Yeah. There nice we shot. go. Nice shot. Uh, I wonder where we're supposed to go. So there's supposedly a whole bunch of new biomes and stuff, but Kylex was saying that we should do it without flight for the most fun. And I'm like trying to figure out like where we would even go. This 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 island is not very big, as islands go. Okay, so like so I, I got wonder. A big, got a big pillar here. Yeah. This is the, the 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 dragon egg is right next to this pillar. Just so you know. And I'll I'll put a piston on top so you can't you can't possibly mistake it. There you oh, go. Wow, here's some here's some of this, this corrupted stuff. Whoa, it's so difficult. So difficult. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how you would get around without some type of flight. Yeah. Um, I mean I guess you could I guess you could get Ow. a bunch of blocks. Ow. And, oh and, my god. Uh, oh wow, this stuff way. is really harsh. Oh Whoa. my oh, oh it's sticky. Oh my god, that stuff is horrifying. There's some, there's some liquid out here that is just a ruth. Wow, it kills me through my armor. That is wild. I have, I didn't even know that was possible. I gotta have to have a conversation with Wei. He was like, no, nothing can change your health. Well. Except. Kylex, yeah, Kylex 1, Wei 0. Well, not really. Wei, it's kind of even right now, huh? Let's take a look here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Let's see, where'd you go? Interesting. Explorer. You are not on my map. No, um, I'm way out in the middle. <gasps> oh, he well, here we are. I'm back in the main continent. So I think that there's stuff out this way, um, which is to say to the northeast. Yeah, that's where I'm heading right now. I saw that on the... I saw some, like, purpley stuff on my map. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, just, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> you just kind of got to be a little careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, have, you have a way out. to get home, by the way, I assume. Huh? If, you're, if you're looking for me to get you home, ain't happening. No, I can just jump in the portal. Oh, cool, cool. No, I mean like getting back to the portal. Oh wow, igneous rock ore. So here's some of this. Uh, here's some of this new content and power powder ore. Is it is it coming up? Am I interesting? You don't show up on my. I'll have to. So what about uses for this? Can I do anything with it? Uh, and then there's the igneous ore over here. Oh. I don't know if this. I'm still touching this stuff. I don't know what I can do with it though. I'll have to work it out. Maybe there's just. Uh, I found some of that deadly, that deadly toxic. Yeah, that stuff is nasty. Watch out. Yeah. Um, oh, I love you, coin of fortune. Death flowers, ender goo, igneous rock ore, and powder ore. Uh, yeah, and I found some of the, the some of the ore over here. What is that? Oh, stop getting angry at me. I'm just looking at your ore. It's our ore. All right, what is this stuff? Whoa! Yeah, igneous rock ore. Hmm. Wow, there's a waterfall of that deadly toxin stuff. That's the worst. Yeah, apparently you can use this stuff in a generator. What? Igneous the... rock. Oh, really? Yeah, <gasps> when you when you break it down, it Six. says t 20... Cool. I, I'm in a corrupted biome, Sace. Oh. Oh, well, there's tons of stuff over here. Um, 656, 167, around height 80. 656, 187. One yeah. second. There are fat, en there are giant ender golems here. This is nuts. You said 656? Yeah, 656, negative 155. Negative 155. You'll know it on the mini-map because it's bright purple. That's okay. I, 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 I um... Made myself a waypoint so I could find it quicker. I assume you'd be coming from the southwest then. Oh, ow! What the heck was. Oh boy. Oh boy. I seem to have pissed off the local Sace. Sace, it's not exactly safe here. Something is very, very angry at me. Oh, ow. Oh, wow. This is all not right, safe at her. all. I see. Oh, wow. That's actually very. Oh, God. <laughs> I see what you mean. It's, they are they are unhappy with my presence. I, I like this I like this block though. What is this? It's a bright. Oh, 
My God, what are they hitting me with? What's this? Whoa! Enchanted Enderstone. That sounds uh, extremely useful. Well, I'm sort of in a bad way here. I don't like it here. Um, <laughs> this world is like it's a three-dimensional island. Even there's like stuff down here. Oh, they're following me really effectively because they can teleport. And I have oh to wow, 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 wow! I see what you're talking about about the about the the the, the giant guys. Yeah, they're they're angry. Those guys are huge, man. And unhappy. Ender Guardians. They have 80 hit points. So they about have, they have about twice as many hit points as the uh, Enderman does. No kidding. All right, folks. Well, I think for us, this is a good wrapping up point for the episode. We're going to keep exploring. And I'm going to see if I can de-aggro this because this is nuts. <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, come back next time. So I, I hope very much that you've enjoyed this episode. I know I have. Uh, thanks, Sace, for helping me with my what I failed to do earlier. Anytime, man. Anytime. All right. Uh, folks, please join me next time. Remember to leave a comment. Subscribe if you feel like it. I really do enjoy hearing from you. Uh, likes are always appreciated, too. And if you're from Canada, feel free to dislike. I'm sort of collecting them now. <laughs>